Hey Coffineers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rue, otherwise known as my stage name, The Cortado Samurai. Um, I think I've seen a few of you in my Instagram DMs asking me about brew ratios. There's no shame in that, not at all. You've just stumbled across another taping of my coffee pretentious reviews, where about once a week I run out of coffee and have to review another cup of coffee so I can then have coffee to drink for the next week. It's a whole ordeal. I actually have a few bags of coffee in my closet, aging like fine wine. Today, at long last, we're gonna try a titan of the industry, Onyx. I don't know how long Onyx has been at the top of their game like this, but anyways, I can't go online without seeing Onyx pop up nowadays. So today we have a, a pre-fermentation washed Columbia by Norby. Norby, I can't say Norby, Keen Bio. Um, this is a pink babone varietal. Here's a little box of that. This coffee is actually graded at 87.5. It's one of the one of the few things I like about Onyx is the transparency. I think it's really important to actually progressing the coffee industry is they give you a lot of details like. The cupping score, obviously the elevation, the farmer's name, even though I think this is like a group, <laughs> I love that they have put it on this guy Norby. <laughs> I love that. Um, anyways, uh, 1800 elevation. And the, the most important part about this, uh, which was like 10.5 ounces for $40, is that this is a pre-fermentation washed coffee and it's dried on raised beds, but every washed coffee is dried on raised beds. Most of them, most of them are. They should be. Um, and that just means that they're gonna take the perfect ripe cherries and they're going to undergo a 24 hour open air fermentation right off the bat. Then we're gonna do 90 hours in a oxygen restricted environment like plastic bags and then finally of course we're going to do the normal wash processing we're going to wash off and remove all the pulp and the mucilage and the fruit and all that jazz and finally we're going to do some raised bed air drying in the sun right and raised bed just means that we're going to allow so we're going to raise up you know pretend we're at a table and the air can actually flow under the coffee drying out all the coffee evenly so that's great. I, mean, I guess technically it's seeds. We're drying the seeds out evenly. And we're just gonna allow it to dry until it gets like a moisture level of 11%, I believe. I don't have an exact guesstimate on how long that takes, but it takes some time. I could do a future video on the different processing techniques, but there's a lot of goofy ones out there now, so I don't know how long that video would be. Um, anyways, 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 enough of that. Uh, we're going to, of course, do the usual. I'm going to open this puppy up. Comes in a nice little brown sack. Obviously, it's got a air valve here to let air out, but not in. Um, yeah, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna do a V60. I'm gonna do uh, 20 grams of coffee, 300 grams of water at three and a half minutes, maybe 90 one degree Celsius, I think. And I'm gonna tell you what I think. Hey everyone, I'm back with coffee. We did pretty much a perfect golden brew of 20 grams in, 300 grams of water, coarse grind on the Baratza Sete, set, Sete? 270. Um, I don't have the upgraded edition, but that's fine. Um, what else, 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 what
so 91 degrees Celsius, three minutes, 30 second brew time, five pours. It was beautiful, beautiful. Here's that. Really can't see it much, that's fine. I brought a fancy wine glass looking thing. A little bit bigger than a wine glass, but that's fine. Um, of course, I have my two edgy steel um, whiskey stones shaped like bullets because I'm so cool, as you all know. Um, definitely not a weirdo sipping and doing a pretentious review about coffee. Um, <laughs> gonna decant to cool it down into my. Oh. I said oh because that definitely spills a little. I'm just gonna ignore the part where I spilled a little bit of coffee on the ground. And we're going to get right into this. I'm gonna do a smell test first. It is still very hot, 170 degrees. It smells like a, kinda of hoppy, but also like some fruit, maybe like grapes or something. Oh no. Going straight in for the first impressions here on the Columbia from Onyx. Let's go. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, first impressions, not crazy, kind of plummy, almost whiny, a little like hoppy though, like it's got some grain, it's got some grains in it, you know, hops or, or barley or wheat or something. It does hit a little bit of plum. A little bit of the, like darker, darker fruit, and a little bit of citrus. Not as much as I would have thought. Um, they also said a lighter note of like a black tea with a blood orange, and I, I don't know about that. A little citrusy, a little plummy for sure. Definitely hoppy and kind of grainy. Okay, yeah, you can definitely get some orange out of this. I'm unfamiliar with the exact differences between blood orange and normal orange, but this is definitely has a little bit of like that citrus that you'd get from like a, you know those baby oranges, like cuties? A little bit of that, a little bit of that in here. Okay, I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit. It's definitely good. But I'm going to let it cool down and we're going to come back with some notes and the final verdict about the Onyx Columbia. Be right back. All right, hey guys, I'm back with my final verdict about the Onyx Columbia from uh, Norby Quin Quinbio. Is that what I said the first time? I hope I'm being consistent at least. Um, of course, this is our washed pre fermentation, sun dried on raised beds, 1800 elevation. Columbia. This is a $40 coffee, 87.5 graded coffee. I'm back with my final verdict of 6.5 out of 10. I'm going to say it. This coffee is good. It's a good coffee. It is not a $40 coffee. It is not a 87.5 scored coffee. To me, it's still a good coffee. I'm gonna tell you what I think about this coffee, some of the flavor notes, and maybe what I don't like about it. What I do like, what I don't about it, you know what I mean. So as it cooled down, I definitely got, I'm sticking with hops, but I can easily see how if you just like, you know, it's one of those things of like, if you squint, you can see black tea. Hops and black tea aren't really that different to me. Um, so I'm gonna say hops, it's got a little bit more of a grainy thing. You could say fresh bread, but that's like kind of in the background. Um, up front, you will get, it's pretty sweet. It's a sweet coffee. It's kind of plum, 
kind of cherry, um, a little floral. Um, I don't, it's got a slight citrus, a slight acidity, but it's much more sweet than it is acidic. Um, you know those little spider graphs? I don't have one, but it's, <laughs> but just think it's way more sweet than it is acidic. It's not very savory at all. The savory, the more savory bitter notes that you might think of when you think of coffee. It doesn't really have those. It has the, the deeper notes. I'm gonna put this down. I keep on making noise with it. The deeper notes, the deepest that this coffee goes, sorry, I can't speak, is kind of like a, again, a hoppy, a grainy, maybe a little bit of like a vanilla. It's kind of like a, a creamier note in there. So it's great if you want a sweet coffee. It's like a really sweet wine. I don't think this coffee is dainty, light, or floral or like a, a juicy enough for my preferred uh, palette, I guess you would say. Like I do recognize this coffee, like it's a good coffee. For me, it's just like a 6.5. For the average person, it's probably a 7.3. Um, 87.5? I don't think so. <laughs> um, again, so it's really good. There's a lot of good things about it. It's not for me, but um, that being said, that's all I got. That's all I got for you. Next week, we're going to be doing a Little Dreamer coffee from Houston. It is a Mexico, so be on the lookout for that. I'm going to have, what am I going to have? I'm going to have some other videos in the works right now, too. But anyways, thanks for liking and supporting the channel and what I do and all the coffee I drink. Couldn't do it without you. I probably could and I probably would. But like I enjoy bringing you along on the journey. So anyways, um, do I recommend the coffee? Not for $40. I'm going to say it. Not for $40. It's not worth that. It's worth $18. Um, what are you going to say? Uh, thanks for liking the video, subscribing, commenting, all that jazz. I do see it. I read the comments. If, uh, if you have a coffee in mind that you want me to review in a coming week or two, I'm, I'm like three weeks out right now as far as like coffee skill. But after that, if you have something you want me to look into or buy or review or something, just drop a comment down below, message me on Instagram or something. I read them all. Um, thanks for watching.